I guess there's probably a lot of you watching now who are not subscribed or tapped the bell or whatever, so you probably missed that whole comments thread. So basically, um, this will be at the front of the video now. The, the recap there was, I said I'm selling my 987. I put a deposit down on the 718 GTS. Right, so have you got your script and everything? No. You haven't got the script? I just so wing it. You, so I do everything off the cuff. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, brilliant. Okay. We're just telling you you're silly for putting the deposit down on the 718, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't that what we're doing? Let's kind of bring you up to speed. I have a deposit down at an OPC for 718 4.0 GTS. Naturally aspirated. I do feel like you're nodding already, Eddie. Okay. Um, shaking. <laughs> shaking. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, just to let you know, I, I, am a, I was a little bit pressured into the sale, but let me explain. When I turn 50, I'm 46 next month. In four years time, I'd like to say, I've put money away, I've saved up for old age, I've touched wood, I've done all right. I want to now reward myself with a car. I don't know how old you were when you got your GT4, Eddie. 20. 20, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that was the logic. But as we all know, there are going to be no NA cars available at that point in time. They're all going to be electric hybrid. And in fact, the next generation come 20, 23 will be the point is i won't be able to buy a car when i'm 50 so i've kind of said i'll do it now but i can't afford to do it now so you know third world problems i know i'm not looking for sympathy here but i'm just explaining the fact of how i've ended up putting the deposit down obviously i can't really afford the car so it'll be financed heavily and that's why i had to sell the 987 gen 2. um i think i've reached the point now against the, i don't know if you can see the cars we've got Matt's 981 GTS, Eddie's 981 GT4. Amongst the 981s, I think my 987 holds its own. It still looks like a great car. This may not make sense to any of you, especially you, Matt, because you're a GTS owner. When I rationale the fact I want to get the 718 GTS 4.0, I don't view it as a GTS product. Mm. After having driven the Lotus Elise, and I'll say this straight out here, and this is my opinion, flame me if you want. The Lotus Elise has got proper direct steering. The 987 is the rawest of the Cayman bunch with steering feel and pedal feel. The 981, obviously electrically assisted steering, the pedals are a bit lighter. The 718 even more so light. So my rationale for getting a 718 GTS 4.0, I view it as a GT car. It's a bit like an Aston Martin to me. That when I'm 55, I'm a bit older, I'll be cruising in my two-seater sports car but it's as GT as I want a GT car to be. And I've driven an Aston Martin, the Vantage, and to me it's too bouncy, too soft, not for me. Um, so that was kind of my logic. Um, it's a great idea, isn't it, Eddie? Yeah. I think you're nuts, basically. <laughs> the fact that you've got doubts suggests that the uh, 4 litre GTS isn't for you. Simple well, as that. Big financial, it, it, but, but to be fair, if I had loads of money sitting around, I don't think I'd be procrastinating as much as I am now. And that's your answer then, isn't yeah. it? If finances come into it, it's probably not the right decision. The right decision. Yeah. I think the Cayman R is probably my most sought after Cayman, if I could spec it from new. And I know we've had that chat already, mm -hmm. but you can't spec them from new. So I think there's a little bit of me trying to spec the car from new to get what I want. I mean, did you ever feel that when you were hunting? I think it all comes down to which generation suits you. And mine is the 981 and it's the GTS. You strike me as a 987 guy, and that's why I was thinking on the way here, came and after you every every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you just got to wait until that right spec comes along. I had to wait until that one came along. Yeah. But you know, it's. How yeah. long did you have to wait for that, by the way? Uh, well, as soon as I bought my Carmine Red one, I I probably look on Auto Trader every day. See, see, we're, di <laughs> we're, di we're different personalities then, because if I'm I always bought a car, I'm always looking for the oh. perfect car, and then when I found it, I would, I take my hat off to you. I can't, I couldn't buy a car but then be looking the next day because yeah. that, that would almost... So you view it as a passage through life. I think I'm a bit too permanent with my cars. I view them as like, this is it forever mm. until I decide it's not forever, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, until I mean, the I, next thing comes along. Yeah. I always had the nagging feeling with the gearbox, didn't I? Yeah. So that was the thing that we, it was never quite right for me. I loved everything yeah. about the car, but it was just the gearbox. But. I only have one mode, manual. Mm. So, but then, so can I ask a question to you then? So you kind of secretly hanker after a classic Ferrari. Hmm. Always do, have done. Do you have a similar thing that I have, which is you have your current car, mine's a 987, yours is the G, but then are you like, one day I'm going to sell this and I'm going to get my old... Not really. I mean, from a Porsche perspective, I don't 
hanker after 9-11. I don't hanker after GT, uh, GT3 and GT2s and or even turbos anymore because I've, I've done the 9-11 thing. And I keep forgetting because you had Boxster, 9-11, then yep. you effectively uh, dropped down to the Caymans. Yep, two Caymans now. That's my second. Um, so but when I meant drop down, I meant sort of financially because, I mean, let, let's be fair, the thought of spending 75000 I don't know how you... How actually, I spent it, more on the GT4 than I did on the 911. Wow. The 911, uh, yeah, cost me about 25% less. Mm, okay. But that said, the 911 was a daily for me. And yeah, it was fine and it was a little bit um, hairy at times, especially in winter. Um, I didn't quite enjoy it as much because even back then it felt a bit too much like a GT car. I w wasn't as happy driving, driving it on twisties as I am with the GT4. The GT4, I mean, as you've seen when we mm. came down this little route, I have no problems with it. I'm, I'm easy with it. People yeah. say, um the clutch and the steering and the brakes whatever but for me it's brilliant you know, listening to both of you speak something's quite interesting so so obviously you went gt4 and it was the only one at the time when you bought your car you said you'd pick your generation but more than that it was also gts so mm. you always said it had to be a 981 gts it wasn't like a sport or base it was gts no i did test drive a, i did test test drive a sport but for the extra i don't know five grand for the spec of the, the s that i was looking at yeah. um yeah, yeah, it was, G it was GTS for me. That's and and if, if there was such a thing as you getting into another Cayman, mm. like, do you know what would that be just out of interest if you've had that thought experiment? Um, no, no, I mean, obviously, love, love the GT4, but I know that the, the limitations of the practicality because mm. the road trips we've done with, with Eddie yeah. where he's scraping the front and the like. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, those are the things we don't bring you on camera, but like <laughs> scrape, crunch, yeah. Yeah, you know. Pretty much, yeah. 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 No, I've kind of set on that as my level. If I wanted a GT4, I'd go. And, but I've, I've kind of, I'm, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, yeah, content with it. It was pretty shocking and horrifying for me to have to effectively say, "Here's the deposit, and the car's going to cost seventy-five thousand." Well, I mean, I, I don't know if we're going to cover anything. Else. This is just a, a short, quick video to, because um, a lot's happened on that comments thread, which I guess there's probably a lot of you watching now who are not subscribed or tap the bell or whatever. So you probably missed that whole comments thread. So basically, um, this will be at the front of the video now. The, the recap there was, I said I'm selling my 987. I put a deposit down on the 718 GTS. If you have fretted about the car, when you finance the car, let me know in the comments. I might feel like I'm not the only one. And I think, well, you, I, was, I was still hearing your voice say that if you're worrying about the finances, maybe you can't afford it. And, I, and I'm talking to myself here. Maybe I can't afford it. That, yeah. yeah it, I think if you're fretting so much over finance now, you're going to be like, well, you're already completely <laughs> grey, but you're going to be doing your head yeah. in uh, later on. Um, as, as I said on the message, I'd hate you to worry about driving it because yeah. of the, the depreciation yeah. and things, and then it ends up just sitting as something in the garage yeah. that you don't that you don't use. Whereas yeah. financing something like a car of that nature, I don't have a problem with, uh, providing that you can you make use of the money elsewhere but if you're not and you're stretching yourself then you've got to ask is it worth it no oh idea well, this, this isn't helping your cause <laughs> this is <laughs> probably not helping my cause um i'm going to wrap this up now but i thought i'd at least let you know what's been going on in my head well i'm going to turn the camera yeah. off now because i've actually got the deposit down so I, i'm switching this all off. back no, no, i'm switching it off now and that'll be it you want to say anything else eddie yeah, forget the GTS. It's not for you. This wasn't the point in the video, Matt. Yeah, <laughs> no, you've already heard our comments. All right, well, <laughs> cut, cut. Oh, dear me.